Forecasters expect warning levels surf Tuesday night. That's a minimum 25 foot faces on North Shores, 12 feet on West Shores. And this is just the start of the surf season that'll attract thousands, spectators, and surfers to some of the most dangerous surf spots. Well, Nikki Schenfeld spoke with big wave surfers who lost a friend and formed a group to try to keep everyone safe. Eight years ago, two big wave surfers created the Big Wave Risk Assessment Group, also known as BRAG. This course was started to honor um, our um, beloved friend Sam Lasky, who lost his life in Mavericks in 2011. Um, it was pretty clear there was a need for us to be more prepared to save each other. Koto and Cole Christensen brought together a group of surfers, making sure everyone was on the same page when it came to safety. Big wave surfing and big surf will never be safe very unsafe. We're just trying to make make it as safe as possible and control the factors that are within our grasp. The group spreading to six countries. Safe to say that we probably teach more than a thousand people at this point. This year's course kicked off Friday, honoring five people who saved lives after taking the Bragg course, including three men who helped save Dusty Payne after a head injury at back door earlier this year. And two men who helped a BYU student after a shark attack at Pounders just three months ago. For future big wave surfers, the course teaching valuable lessons. 14 year old Ty Simpson Kane took on Peahi or Jaws on Maui last week. He took the Brad course last year. They um, helped me to train myself mentally to hold my breath because when you are getting pounded, it's all a mind game. You know, you can be calm and then as soon as you start freaking out in your mind, then that's when it can get very dangerous. Even though he's so young, he was prepared for that day. This year's course brings in 70 people worldwide, all sharing ideas, experiences, and goals to help save lives for years to come. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what kind of wave you catch. It matters people coming back home to their families, really. The course is held every December on Oahu's North Shore and is open to the public for a fee. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News.